Hello YouTubers, Joe Kersey here on uh, September 8th, Monday, 2014 at around 2 in the afternoon Eastern Daylight Time. Now, you'll note I'm showing you a receipt from Staples dated September 10th, 2013. And... Uh, this was for a, an Apple mouse, the standard sort of USB plug-in mouse, uh, you know, which obviously I purchased at Staples. Uh, I did not purchase it at the Apple store. And the uh, reason for that was I was just happened to be in Staples for another business and I saw that they had these things I thought well heck I you know since my magic mouse had died um, or was certainly in the process of dying uh, I said well I'll just buy one of these USB plug-in mouses mites and uh, because I didn't know Staples sold that stuff. I thought you could only buy this stuff at the Apple place. And I didn't want to drive all the way down to Clarence Parkway and thrice through the traffic to go to the Apple store at the fashion place. And uh, so I bought the same price. Well, as you know, uh, Apple products come with a one-year... Well, maybe not as you know, but I'll tell you. Apple products come with a one-year uh, you know, manufacturer's warranty. You know, if there's something wrong with it, they'll replace it or make it good or refund your... You know, they'll do something to make it good. You know, to, to make you whole, as they say, legally. And uh, so, you know... When my magic mouse died, which was the first mouse I had when I bought this machine just a little over two years ago now, uh, it died. <laughs> it died about five days after the end of the warranty period on it. So I had to bury that bad boy. And you can watch the burial ceremony on my YouTube channel on a video called Death of the Magic Mouse. Uh, and it's dated September 12, 2013. But it had died a few days before that, but it's still outside the warranty period. But not so today. Now see, this thing, you know, it's got a little scroll button on the top. And it's been, it's been sort of hesitant and Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It's been doing that sort of on and off for the last two months, but it, it well and truly died this morning. Uh, so no scrolling for Joe. That's not quite true. You could scroll in one direction, but you could not scroll in the reverse direction. So you had to use the trackpad if you wanted to back up. Well, I don't like to use a trackpad. That's a pain in the behind as far as I'm concerned. So... That, well, I better hop on this because I've got two more. I've got two days left on the warranty, so I went down to uh, the Apple Store at the Polaris Fashion Place. <laughs> you gotta love something so pretentious as that, don't you? And uh, I walked in, and as is. You know, I walked in about three minutes after they opened at 10 o'clock in the morning. And as is often the case, I mean, these guys are, you know, right on you. I mean, and, and I don't mean that in a bad sense. I mean, you know, they see a customer come in, they go to help the customer. And I clearly there were already about 15 other people in the store. Now they have about 20, 22 people roaming around on the floor anyway. And their blue T-shirts, you know, the little apple and stuff on the front. So this guy asked me what the problem was, and I told him the problem. He looked at my receipt from Staples, and 
I said, well, you know, I mean, it's it's still under warranty. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I mean, you have a one-year warranty from the date of purchase. And the date of purchase, one year will be two year, two days from now. So, he said, well, you, you, you bought it at Staples. You have to go back to Staples to deal with that. Okay. And I said, okay, because I thought I might. So I went over to Staples, which is well, about three or four miles over, you know, down the road, as we say. And uh, so I talked to this guy at Staples, and he says, oh, well, we only have a 14-day return policy on anything that we sell that's, you know, related to technology. I said, yeah, I said, but this isn't really a return. This is a warranty issue. He says, well, nonetheless, Apple's going to have to deal with this since it's still obviously under manufacturer's warranty. I said, so, in effect, you're telling me they lied to me. He said, yeah, they did. I said, okay, I'll go back to Apple. So I went back to Apple. This time, I walk in, and I've met, met by two very pleasant people. And... Uh, I think the woman may have been training the guy or helping to train the guy. And uh, I told them the situation. And I had the receipt out. They didn't even want to look at the receipt. They just accepted my word for the, what I was telling them. You know, they saw it was from Staples. They knew I'd bought it at Staples. But nonetheless, they, they took my word for it that it was, there's still two days left to go. And she said, yeah, that's, the woman said, yeah, that's, it's clearly under warranty. And she turns to the guy and says, go, you know, just, just go get the guy a new mouse and, uh, you know, we'll do it as some sort of, well, some sort of technical in-house jargon I didn't understand. So he go over with him, he gets me a new mouse and there's some little stuff he does on his iPhone, you know, zip, 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 you know, out the door I go with a brand new mouse and, uh, they each of them, they both said, uh, and you say you were here a half hour ago? And I said, yeah. And you were told that we couldn't deal with this? And I said, yeah. And even the guy, when he had me off by myself, he says, no, no, you were here a half hour ago? I said, yeah, well, about 35, 40 minutes ago now, you know. And, uh, and somebody, somebody here said they couldn't deal with this? I said, yeah. But this, these guys, these these two were very, very helpful, and uh, I came home and plugged the thing in. It works just fine. So we'll see how long that one lasts. And sure enough, as I thought would be the case, when I turned on my computer, there was the the receipt, you know, emailed to me about the transaction, you know, the return transaction and so forth. So, you know, I'll tell you, I. I was very surprised because I've always, I've never had really a bad experience with Apple, so, at least in their service, well, not in their sales either, I mean, I've never had a bad experience with Apple, I was, I was very puzzled by this, I mean, maybe the guy I got was new, or, I don't know, maybe he didn't like the cut of my jib, or, who knows? No, admittedly, Apple hasn't been selling stuff at outside retailers for all that long. It's been probably a little over a year and a half now, maybe, at least in this area. And uh, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, problem was solved. It took me a little bit, took me about 40 minutes longer than it probably should have done, but that's all right. I'm squared away now. So, uh, Paul's off work today. He's taking a nap. And uh, he's been doing some computery stuff. And so have I. I. I woke up at four, couldn't go back to sleep. So I, yeah, <laughs> you know where my face has been all day, you know, on the computer. That's got to be doing something strange to my head. That's just all there is to it. But we're heading into a glorious fall. 
sort of sort of at the same time we used to when I was growing up, you know. Uh, oh, this is great. Listen to this. What a charming individual. I bet he feels very manly right now. Okay, bye-bye, YouTubers. Ha, 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 ha.